The discovery of a massive water reservoir in space was made by a team led by Matt Bradford, a scientist at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California. Their observations began in 2008 using a 33-foot telescope near the summit of Mauna Kea in Hawaii. They followed up with observations from an array of radio dishes in the Inyo Mountains of Southern California. A second team of astronomers, led by Dariush Lees from Caltech, used the Plateau de Bure interferometer in the French Alps to find this enormous water reservoir. And this is no little puddle. It's the equivalent of 140 trillion times all the water in the world's oceans. This water is located more than 12 billion light years away, surrounding a huge, feeding black hole known as a quasar. Quasars are massive celestial objects that emit large amounts of energy. Bradford noted that the environment around the quasar is unique in how it's producing this huge mass of water. It's another demonstration that water is pervasive throughout the universe, even at the very earliest times, Bradford said in a 2011 press release. Before this discovery, astronomers had never found water vapor this far back in the early universe. While there is water elsewhere in the Milky Way, most of it is frozen in ice. Finding water around the quasar helped scientists determine that the quasar is effectively bathing the gas in X-rays and infrared radiation, making the gas unusually warm and dense by astronomical standards. Although the gas is at a chilly minus 63 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 53 degrees Celsius, and is 300 trillion times less dense than Earth's atmosphere, it's still five times hotter and 10 to 100 times denser than what's typical in galaxies like the Milky Way. Astronomers hope to learn more about the distant universe through future research.